What's up guys, I'm back like another left in this video. Uh, we are going to be talking about a sector within the stock market that could potentially be going higher within the next few uh, weeks. So I'm going to go over stocks within that sector we need to watch out for. I'm also going to go over a quick stock market recap and some important economic reports we need to watch for, for tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned. Now let's get right into the video. Now, I really appreciate it if you hit the like button. Have any questions, any comments, make sure you drop it in the comment section below. So, uh, before we talk about this sector, you know, we talked about GME stock. You know, this was one of the companies that were going to be reporting earnings. We talked about it, and the expected move for the company was around 30%. As you can see, this stock is down by itself 33% today. So, when we were talking about it, it was trading at close to $200. So, the expected move was around $150 if it goes down. And unfortunately, it went down and that's it's trading away below the expected move. So uh, we'll see what's going to potentially happen for this company moving forward. But uh, we're expecting the stocks either go up or down around $58. But uh, the overall stock market is also trading lower and it's taking a lot of the high growth stock, you know, speculative stocks down with it. So later on, we're going to be talking about, of course, some sectors that we need to be watching out for for this upcoming week. So if you're somebody that's still holding GameStop stock, you know, they also announced on their earnings call that they can potentially be doing an offering to raise money that usually can affect this stock price to go a lower. But however, there's still a lot of people that are in it. They're not selling. They believe the short squeeze is going to be happening. So definitely keep an eye on it. But that is one of the important things that they mentioned that you need to be aware of. So now let's go over and talk about exactly, you know, what are this stock market sector that we need to be watching out for that could potentially be going higher. So overall, you know, when you look at the stock market today, we have the big tech stocks that went down, you know, like Tesla stock down below $650. We have Apple, Microsoft, semiconductor stock, but we still had some sectors that perform very, very well, like energy stocks. You know, energy stocks are doing pretty good, you know, this year, you know, so far they've been pulling back the past few days, but right now they're performing very, very well. But uh, we're going to be talking about what are the sector we need to be watching out for moving forward for the next upcoming week so so the sector that we're going to be talking about they need to be watching out for is going to be retail so there's a thing called easter rally and within it it can potentially rise companies like costco walmart and amazon too so definitely keep an eye on uh, these specific companies moving forward now these companies like walmart costco target you know they've been not doing pretty well the past few weeks but this easter rally can potentially help them because there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be going shopping of course we have the stimulus package that's been passed and these are going to be the main companies that can potentially benefit of course don't forget amazon also but when you look at the technical analysis for these companies especially when you look at costco it started to recover you know so it's been on a slow downtrend move to the downside from uh, I went from all the way from $381 and it went all the way to uh, $307 before it bottomed out. And right now it's recovering and going back up again. So within the next few days, within the next few weeks, especially on March 26, you know, we might potentially see the rise of these retail stocks. You know, so we might expect, for example, for Costco to potentially go to $350. We have Walmart stock that's been recovering. Also, just like Costco, it went all the way to $120. As you can see, it started to recover. It could potentially go to, you know, around $140, right around over here. It even go up over there. You never know, but this is going to be an important sector you need to be watching out for. Of course, the last and most important thing is going to be Amazon stock. And it's not really in the retail sector, but a lot of people shop on Amazon. They got their stimulus checks. You know, we also have some tax returns that are going to be coming up pretty soon. So uh, these are going to be the top companies to watch out for for the next few weeks to come. That can potentially be super hot right now. So we have an Amazon stock also has been trending lower and found a bottom at around $2,881. Right now it's recovering. It went above $3,000. So definitely watch out for all of these companies moving forward but so now let's talk about exactly you know what can potentially be moving the markets for tomorrow so uh, for march 24th we have initial jobless claims continuous jobless claims you know for the period of march the previous was 770,000, and the forecast is 735,000. we also have a uh, continuous jobless claims 
around uh, 4.12 million for the previous month and we don't have a forecast and we also have a, a gross domestic product it's going to be reported for q4 at 8 30 a.m the previous was 4.1 percent forecast is 4.1 percent too we got a fed vice chair richard it's going to be speaking atlanta fed president and also chicago fed president san francisco fed president they're going to be speaking tomorrow so it's going to be a really interesting day you know we've been seeing a lot of choppiness with the stock market a lot of rocky you know the high growth stocks that we talked about electric vehicle companies that we talked about they are pulling back a lot so uh, right now you know if you don't have any kind of money to add to your positions for the long term you know you just sitting out also doesn't really hurt you don't have to participate you know every single day especially when the stock market is very choppy when we have this important you know economic ripples coming left and right jerome powell speaking you know the three times in a week sometimes you know stepping back and doing nothing is also the best thing to do so uh that is one of the important things to do right now but if you have any questions any comments make sure you drop it in the comments below and uh you know check out all the links in the description box to get free stocks free bitcoin etc but i catch you guys on another video have a wonderful day